Okay, in this tutorial, we are going to draw or to make this knot on the, on the surface of this cylinder. And actually, this knot has a diameter of 17 millimeter, as was stated here. SW, I think, is uh, an uh, abbreviation for the wrench size. And this knot actually has a chamfer. This chamfer is uh, 1 millimeter from this side and 1.5 millimeter from the other one. And the height of the whole knot is 11 millimeter. Meanwhile, the diameter of the internal circle that will be inside the knot is 17 millimeter. Now we'll go and start drawing this knot. Okay, here is our cylinder on which we are going to draw our knot, and we are going to draw it on this surface. This one. We will select this one and then sketch. Okay. As we can see here, this knot is centered in the middle of the cylinder. So we will start by drawing this internal circle and we will draw the outer hexagon uh, which will be extruded. Okay. Here is our circle. This is the internal one. This is about 17 millimeter. Not about. This is exactly 17 millimeter as stated in the PDF file. This is the our circle. And now we will draw the hexagon. Actually, um, the way to draw the hexagon is to start by drawing some any lines that are tangent the circle like this afterwards we start by defining their the, the angle here on 120 degree okay for the dimensioning before the dimensioning you press on the dimension you press on the first line and you press control the control button um, uh, while pressing on the on the control button you go on the, and press on the other line and then with the wheel button in the middle you you click here and then you select here ok and then double click here to change the value of the angle which is going to be 120 that's it now we are done with defining the angle now we will extend this line until it intersects with this line like this Actually, as we can see, you, you can start moving it downwards and upwards until you reach these um, these parallel signs, which states that this line is at the same level or at the same angle as the line we just drew before. Okay, now we are going to narrow these lines about this axis and this axis. Okay. We go here, we start by selecting them. Uh, before sel actually, um, before mirroring them, we should first define the axes about which we are going to make our mirror. To define these axes, we go here and we make, we choose the center line and we start doing like this and the other one like that. Okay. Now we go and select what we want to mirror, which are these two edges, and we go to the mirror uh, sign, which is here. Now he's asking uh, to, to, to select the center line about which we are going to make uh, the mirroring, which is this one. Once you choose, it will be automatically mirrored like that. Uh, now, leaving these activated, these lines activated, selected, I mean, we are going to make a mirror again. Again, it asks for another center line. And you go here, and you select this one. Okay. Uh, now, oh, now, uh, after we are done, we want now to mirror these ones also here, about this one. But actually, this line, this line is not uh, activated. However, 
we don't need to, to mirror this side again, we can do this one about this axis. So we go and select these edges and we mirror them about this axis here. And now that's it. We have it. We have this hexagonal shape with the internal diameter or the range size of 17 millimeter. And now we can delete this internal uh, circle like that. Just delete it. After you select it, you press on the delete button. And then you go and we are done. Okay. Now we go like this and we go to the extrude and it works actually. Again, the height is 11 millimeter as just stated here. And go and we double click on this small box and we enter 11 millimeter and then enter. Now we have our hexagonal knot like this. Now all what we really need to do is to make this chamfer that makes it uh, looks nice like a real knot and actually this chamfer is one millimeter from this side and 1.5 millimeter from that side now we are going to see how is it done going to make it okay um, to, to start drawing here we will go and define a new datum and this this datum actually uh, we are going first we are uh, I'm going to define it to intersect between this uh, edge and this edge by by pressing the control button like this okay and we press the control button keeping it uh, pressed actually we press on the other one and then we press okay now we will draw on this plane actually this plane you will see now just right now okay now actually it is asking um, if you want to define any edge so that you can uh, instead of using the draw from edge from the very beginning you can you it's just asking for references where you want to uh, work according to actually i prefer not using them and i prefer using this tool directly which is a sketch from edge we choose this edge and we select OK and then close our rectangle. Actually, as you can see, once I stretch the line, appears the edge letter which uh, makes it horizontal line. And then I do like this and I close my triangle like that. And then that's it. And don't forget, please, once you use this tool which is sketch from edge you will need to delete to delete the reference at the end which is which has this s like shape you just choose it and then delete it now actually you have this triangle this triangle has its own dimension now you start to define it to define the time to define these dimensions according to our drawings here it is one millimeter from here and 1.5 from the other one okay this is 1.5 and this is 1 millimeter okay once you're done you go and just select okay here you go to the revolve tool downwards if you look here it is asking for selecting an axis of revolution for an axis of revolution actually the axis of revolution uh, because this knot is co-centric with uh, with this cylinder we just use uh, choose the uh, the axis of the cylinder itself like this one actually after you choose it don't forget just to say to, to press here on this button the remove material because actually uh, you are um, taking out the material so that you make the chamfer imagine yourself that just actually like like in turning process like in turning process in the turning you need to remove this material using the pen uh, I mean using the, the turning tool like that just like this and afterwards we make a yes and here we are 